everyone and welcome back to Jess is Blessed. Today I will be going over the five biggest mistakes I see people make when they start out cloth diapering. So if you are new to cloth diapering or thinking about cloth diapering, then this video is definitely for you. Also, if you're just interested in knowing what five common mistakes are, then this video is for you. Keep watching to the end of the video to find out what the number one cloth diapering accessory that I couldn't live without is. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Number one, going all in with one style or brand or particular type of cloth diaper. I see this over and over and over again. I see people that fall in love with a brand or prints that a brand has, or they have heard so much good stuff from a sister or a cousin or a YouTuber about certain brands or certain types of diapers. And so they just go out and buy a whole stash of all those diapers. So they'll buy 24 newborn Grovia all-in-ones or 24 Bum Genius free times or buy a whole stash of flats and covers. Now the problem with that is that you don't know what type of baby you're going to have or how your baby is going to grow as far as their personal anatomy. So what works for one baby may not work for another baby. In fact, I've even spoken with friends or other YouTubers and they've heard me gushing about a certain diaper and they're like, it, we could be talking about two completely different diapers because they can't stand that diaper on their baby and vice versa. I've heard other YouTubers gush about a certain diaper that I can't stand the fit of because it doesn't fit my babies. On that same token, you may find that you despise folding flats or pre-folds and having to fold them around your baby and put a cover on. And so there's just a lot of different variables. Your baby may outwet a certain style of diaper. It may not be absorbent enough. It may be too absorbent. The legs might be too tight. The belly might be too loose. There's so many variables. And so I highly suggest not investing in a whole stash of one style of diaper. In fact, I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend buying a couple of each style. In fact, I wouldn't even buy the whole stash to begin, to begin with. I would buy a couple of each style and experiment when your baby gets here and try them out. And especially once your baby starts to grow a little bit because a newborn is going to fit a cloth diaper completely different than even a one or two month old. I definitely would experiment. And after you've tried a couple different styles, you'll get a good idea of what you like and what works for you. You may think all in ones are the absolute best. You may love them or you might like flats and covers where you may prefer fitted. There's a variety of different cloth diapers. That's wonderful because there's something that will work for every family, but you aren't going to know unless you try them. And so I see people who have invested in a particular style of diaper and it doesn't work for their baby and they give up and they say cloth diapering sucks, I hate it, I don't wanna do it. They spread that to their friends and family and it gives cloth diapering a bad name. When they may have had a completely different experience if they had been able to try several different styles. So that is the number one mistake that I see families make when they're starting out with cloth diapering. And on a side note really quick, if you're worried about buying diapers that you're not going to use, you can always resell them on cloth diaper buy sell trade groups on Facebook, places like that. So don't worry too much. You should be able to recoup a lot of your money. The number two mistake I see people make is not adding boosters. I see people make this mistake all the time. People will email me or reach out and say, Jess, I'm getting leaks all of a sudden, just out of the blue. My diapers have started leaking. I don't know what's going on. Usually your baby has started out peeing the absorbency of your diapers. Even newborns out, start to out pee the absorbency of their newborn diapers. You can remedy that by folding up a little tiny cloth washcloth and put that in a newborn diaper as a booster. It's just a little boost of absorbency. And as your baby gets bigger, whether a newborn or a six month old, their absorbency needs are going to change. And so adding boosters is essential as your babies get older. That way you're not having to change their diaper every hour. You know, you can at least 
get a little bit more time in between your diaper changes by adding boosters. I also highly, highly recommend hemp and bamboo because they are the most absorbent and they're going to be the trimmest and they also have other benefits to them. So I highly recommend using those for boosters. But I see people make this mistake all the time from newborns up to two years three years old toddlers as your baby starts outgrowing the absorbency of their diapers add boosters and the number three mistake i see people make is not using enough detergent and somewhere along the line this myth began and it has been perpetuated by the internet and the myth is that you will get detergent buildup in your diapers so not to use very much detergent or to use very minimal detergent and this is wrong in so many ways on so many levels i have done tons of research i have cloth diapered babies cloth diapered babies at the same two at the same time i can tell you i can assure you you need detergent. Use the regular amount of detergent that you would use if you were going to be washing a dirty load of laundry because you are washing away urine and feces and you need soap to do that. You need detergent to do that. Water alone is not going to do the trick. No matter how much water you use, it's not going to work. The way that detergent works is that it binds to the dirty material, whatever it is in the washer. It binds to it and then water washes it away. So the essential thing is that you're using enough water and rinsing your diapers. Now diapers can eventually need to be stripped. That does happen but don't be afraid to use detergent. Using enough detergent will actually reduce problems with your cloth diapers rather than increase problems. So definitely use enough detergent. The number four mistake I see people make is not prepping their diapers, especially natural fibers. Microfiber doesn't need to be prepped, so you don't have to worry about that, but anything that is organic cotton, hemp, bamboo, any of those need to be prepped. And the more that you prep them, the more absorbent they will get. This is because all of those natural fibers have oils on them, natural oils that need to be washed away. As long as those oils are on the fibers, you can just basically imagine it. All the little fibers inside the diaper are sponges but they're covered with Vaseline. So they're not going to absorb anything. Nothing can get through that Vaseline. So as you wash and wash and wash them, that Vaseline washes away and then the sponge becomes absorbent again. It's along the same lines with the diapers. So you need to make sure that you are prepping your diapers, wash them four or five, six times before you start using them on your baby. Because if you buy a bunch of natural fiber diapers or flats or prefolds and just use them straight out of the package, you're going to experience leaks. And then you're going to wonder what in the heck is going on. And I have seen this time and time again, especially with brands that do have natural fibers, that the diapers don't come pre-prepped. There are some brands that the diapers come pre-prepped, which is amazing. Tidy Tots is one of them and their diapers are awesome. This is not sponsored by the way, but people buy those brands of diapers and then they experience leaks with them because they didn't prep them. If you're getting cotton, organic cotton, bamboo, hemp, or a combination of any of those, then you need to prep your diapers. If it is a flat or a prefold and there's no snaps or anything else on it, if it's just strictly the fibers, you can boil them on the stove with just a little bit of liquid dish detergent, you can prep diapers that way, but otherwise just use your washing machine, wash and dry them as normal, five, six, seven, eight times. Just realize the more you wash them, the more absorbent they will get. And drying in between is very important because it helps fluff up those fibers as well. So prep your diapers. And the number five mistake that I see people make is being afraid to experiment with their cloth diapers. For example, somebody gets a Bum Genius pocket diaper that comes with its two microfiber inserts. They think that that is the only two inserts that can go inside this Bum Genius diaper. Or a Bum Genius free time that has the insert sewn in and they think that they can't add anything to this diaper. 
you can absolutely add boosters, you can add an absorbency, you can switch inserts from diaper to diaper, you can play with inserts. Just because one diaper has a snap-in insert system doesn't mean you can't use flats or pre-folds with that, doesn't mean you can't use boosters, doesn't mean you can't swap out inserts or use a couple inserts from this brand and one insert from this brand. For a long time, my son's overnight diaper that we used bulletproof diaper for months and months was a fuzzy buns pocket diaper with the fuzzy buns insert that it came with which is a hemp insert then we used a hemp baby kicks pre-fold and we used a grovia bamboo and cotton size 3 pre-fold inside of it as well and so that's three totally different brands all mashed into one diaper that worked perfectly for my large son who was a heavy wetter and he'd wake up dry in the mornings. And so the only way that I was able to discover that that combination worked was by playing with inserts and playing with absorbency and playing with all of it and experimenting. That is something, don't be afraid to do that. I see so many people that just keep their Bum Genius inserts with their Bum Genius diapers, their Fuzzy Buns inserts with their Fuzzy Buns diapers, their Blueberry inserts with their Blueberry diapers, and they, refuse to mix and match them or they don't realize that they can. They don't realize that it's an option to even mix them around and experiment. So I am here to tell you that anything that is absorbent, I mean, some people use towels, some people use old flannel sheets, some people use t-shirts. There's all sorts of things that people use to make homemade cloth diapers. And so if it's absorbent, you can use it in a diaper. And if you can imagine it, you can do it. So don't be afraid to experiment with your cloth diapers until you find what works for you and for your baby. Because I promise you, with enough experimentation and tweaking with it, you will find the perfect combination. So those are the five biggest cloth diapering mistakes that I see people make on a regular basis. I would love to hear what other mistakes you guys can think of or what other things that you guys have done in the past because I can definitely say I have made my fair share of mistakes with cloth diapering, but I would love to hear yours. Please head to Jess is Blessed on Facebook or Instagram to leave a comment. I will leave links down below so you can head over there to comment. And now finally, as promised, the number one cloth diapering accessory that I literally couldn't live without is our cloth diaper sprayer. I love that thing. I love it. I love it. And I think that that's probably one reason why a lot of people didn't like cloth diapering in, you know, the 60s, 70s. As cloth diapering started fading out is because there wasn't cloth diaper sprayers. Because let me tell you, that thing is amazing. You don't have to stick your hands down in the toilet. You can just spray your diaper off with clean water from the clean water line in the back of your toilet. Throw your diaper in the wet bag. It's pretty clean at that point. And then you just wash your diapers every two days. Super, super easy. Love it. So there are a lot of good brands on Amazon. I highly recommend if you are going to cloth diaper that you get a cloth diaper sprayer. Diaper Dogs is an amazing company. I believe I still have a coupon code that is working down in the description box down below. I'm pretty sure, but Diaper Dogs, one of my favorite companies for cloth diaper accessories. So definitely check them out. I also have tons of reviews on my channel of other cloth diapers all sorts of cloth diapering information. There's cloth diapering 101. There's a bunch of different playlists. So if you're new to cloth diapering, I would highly recommend checking some of those videos out. I've worked with a lot of companies over the years. I've reviewed a lot of diapers and I have a lot of videos up. So definitely check some of those out. Like I said, please leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel. I have another little one coming. You can't see here and right here, but I have another little one coming in about four and a half months. And so I will be cloth diapering him as well. And I would love to have you ride along with me on that journey. So definitely subscribe if you are new here. With all of that said, I am totally out of breath from making this video. So I'm going to go and relax now. Good luck wherever you are in your cloth diapering journey, and I hope to see you again. Until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.